Good morning, y'all. I'm coming to you from the bee corral. Not much of a corral, but that's where I am. That's what I'm calling it for now, anyway. I'm going to get back behind the beehive and talk to you from there today. I'm going to be reading to you from Isaiah chapter 65. So hang on a second. can't see me I'm gonna have to lean over these bees have me mesmerized I enjoy watching them <laughs> okay Isaiah chapter 65 I am sought of them that ask not for me I am found of them that sought me not I said behold me behold me unto a nation that was not called by my name I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people which walketh in a way that was not good after their own thoughts a people that provoketh me to anger continually to my face that sacrificeth in gardens and burneth incense upon altars of brick which remain among the graves and lodge in the monuments which eat swine's flesh and broth of abom abominable things in their vessels which say stand by thyself come not near to me for I am holier than thou these are a smoke in my nose that a fire that burneth all the day behold it is written before me I will not keep silence but will recompense even recompense into their bosom your iniquities and the iniquities of your fathers together, saith the Lord, which have burned incense upon the mountains and blasphemed me upon the hills. <clears throat> Therefore will I measure their former work into their bosom. Thus saith the Lord, as the new wine is found in the cluster, and one saith, Destroy it not, for a blessing is in it. So will I do for my servant's sake that I may not destroy them all. And I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob and out of Judah, an inheritor of my mountains. And mine elect shall inherit it, and my servants shall dwell there. And again, if you have not studied Jacob, we true Christians are descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Study Jacob. And Sharon shall be a fold of flocks, and the valley of Achor a place for the herds to lie down in, for my people that have sought me. But ye are they that forsake the Lord, that forget my holy mountain, that prepare a table for the troop, and that furnish the drink offering unto that number. Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, you did not answer. When I spoke, you did not hear. But you did evil before my eyes, and did choose that which dwell, that choose that wherein I delighted not. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. And ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen, for the Lord God shall slay thee, and call his servants by another name, that he who blessed himself in the earth shall bless himself in the God of truth, and he that sweareth in the earth shall swear by the God of truth, because the former troubles are forgotten, and because they are hid from thine eyes. For behold, I create a new heaven and a new earth and the former shall not be remembered nor come into mind 
go to near the end of Revelation to see what he's talking about there. And remember, this is in Isaiah, written many, many, many years before Revelation. <clears throat> but be ye glad and rejoice <clears throat> ever in that which I create. For behold, I create Jerusalem a rejoicing and her people a joy. And I will rejoice in Jerusalem and joy in my people and the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her, nor the voice of crying. There shall be no more thence of infant of days, nor an old man that hath not filled his days. For the child shall die a hundred years old, but the sinner, being a hundred years old, shall be accursed. And they shall build houses and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. They shall not build and another inhabit, they shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree are the days of my people, and mine elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble, for they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord, and their offspring with them. And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together, and the lion shall eat straw like a bullock. And dust shall be the serpent's meat. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, saith the Lord. That's some good stuff there. I hope you understand God's Word. If you don't, ask the Holy Spirit to interpret for you, to translate for you, to give you the message that God has there, to give you the messages, because there's many messages there that God has for you. Always ask the Holy Spirit to guide you and tutor you as you read His Holy Bible. I love you guys. I am just kind of chilling today. I've been tired from working so much lately. So I'm just chilling today. But I got this beat corral to finish. So I'll be back at it tomorrow. Alright. And I forgot my little remote clicker thingy. So I'm going to have to walk back over to the camera and turn it off instead of just clicking a button and turning it off from here. So y'all excuse me while I walk around my beehive and turn off the camera and I'll talk to y'all tomorrow look for bee on the bow he wants to feed on the word these silly bees they want to feed on everything and messing with bees I think your hands and fingers are sticky permanently <laughs> <laughs>